I'm made of might. You probably know that already if you've been watching the show, which you should be watching the show because it's amazing. I'm not biased at all. Anyways, made of might here. This is Movie Mods, and today we're getting Spidey Tastic. Just made that word up. Hope you like it. <laughs> Anyways, we are going to be working on this amazing 3D printed, molded, so many cool stepped kit thing that Red Sin Designs has made for us. And I'm gonna show you all the cool steps that he did to make this super cool web shooter. And then I'm gonna try to paint it and not ruin his amazing work. Let's do this. So who's all in the chat? Say hello, hello everybody. Got a thumbs up from Nate. Got a thumbs up from Shuli. Sorry if that's not how you pronounce your name. Sorry. <laughs> but anyways, what's up guys? I have a question for you. My question is, if there were a specific like universe, themed universe for your Spider-Verse character, what would it be? We have Spider-Ham, we have Spider-Gwen, we have Spider-Man Noir. What universe would your spider person live in? The universe of cheese? I don't know, tell me. All right, so we're gonna talk about this super awesome thing this is the, the finished result right here. This really cool um, resin printed little guy, web shooter. But it started out as a 3D print. You can kind of see super cool details. It's got a lot of striations from the print. And so Ernesto first printed this amazing little dealio. Then he sanded it and he filled it. So this is just the, another 3D printed version but um, finished, so smoothed out with some primer, filler primer, and sanded to holy hell probably, because the three prints take a lot of work. And then he takes this little guy and he makes a master mold out of it. So this is a mold with, uh, I'm guessing, silicone, some rubber bands to hold it all together, and you can see the holes there are where he pours the resin into, and he lets that mold sit. Here's a really cool version of the mold we have that's actually in two pieces, so you can see what it looks like on the inside. Look at that, that is so cool. That's exactly where this guy comes out of. And this is what it looks like when he pulls it out of the mold. It's got some rough edges on it, but it's overall pretty smooth and awesome. And then after you take care of all the rough edges and bits, after it's out of the mold, it becomes this. Smooth, cool, uh, resin, pretty sturdy web shooter. Isn't that neat? And he even put this really cool little cartridge in it with a magnet so that you can have your little cartridges and keep shooting webs so you don't run out. Now I'm gonna try really hard not to ruin this with a shoddy paint job. <laughs> and we're gonna mod these today. Let's do it. So what's up? Spider pig, yeah! Who said that? Adam, spider pig. Cobra spider, ooh, Manon says he'd be a cobra spider. Connor says venom spider. What, how do you guys feel about the venom stuff that's been coming out? You guys dig the trailer? Do you think it looks dumb? I wanna know, I wanna know your opinion before I give my opinion. <laughs> as unfair as that is. All right, let's see. I'm actually gonna steal some of my wax paper for my paints. This is gonna come in handy later and I'll tell you why later. All right. So Spider-Man in Spider-Man Homecoming and you know Avengers and all that goodness, Civil War, um, his web shooters are actually mostly black. So we're gonna start by taking some black paint and doing a basic paint job on our little guys with a brush. Here we go. 
Now, Ernesto made these super smooth, so painting them is a breeze. It's really easy, but you gotta get into all the little divots. Get into it. You can also use um, other types of paint. You can use spray paint. It doesn't have to be this acrylic brushed on. It could be anything you want. Anything you have at home. You could Sharpie it if you wanted. It would take forever, but you could do it. I have faith in you. I believe in you. Yeah, that's right. I believe in you. <laughs> All right, painting it on here. Might do a couple coats just to make sure that it is nice and solid, because right now it's looking a little stripey. Here we go, look at that. So sick-tastic. Spidey-tastic, that's the word that I made up earlier today. I mean, I didn't make it up, it's totally a thing. Totally a thing. <laughs> Get those edges, give them some love. Just kiss them with the brush. I'm gonna be Bob Ross today. Happy little web shooters, so happy. A mistake is just an opportunity to do something else. I don't know what his catchphrase, sorry. All right, we're gonna take the little um, cartridge part out because that is not black. That is one of the only parts that's silver on the build, so we're gonna paint this guy back. Ooh, bat spider! Manon says bat spider. That also would be really cool. Uh, let's see. I don't know what is, oh, oh! Super News posted a question in the chat, which is gonna be pretty intense. It says, Toby versus Tom versus Andrew. Who's your favorite Spider-Man? Which one did you like the best? Toby, Tom, or Andrew? It's hard, because each of them brings something different to the character, you know? Like, Tobey Maguire was obviously the first one, so he started off the franchise and he lifted it off and paved the way for everybody else. And Andrew Garfield was just like more laid back and a lot more close to the comic book personality than Tobey Maguire was. And um, I liked his personality a lot better. He was a little more like witty and funny and, um, Gave no poops. And then Tom Holland's character is definitely more like age appropriate. He's younger, he's witty, he's funny, he's still like, he's cool with still being super dorky, which I totally dig. Um, and I think it's the first time we've actually seen a Spider-Man who's like the right age for the character, which I love. So they all have something different. Let's see who's winning in the pools, in the polls, let's see. We have one Tom, one Toby, Tom and Andrew. You voted for two? That's cheating. That's cheating. But we have, well, definitely Tom and uh, Andrew are the favorites. Poor Toby getting no love. <laughs> but I think Tom is winning, especially with my vote. Tom Holland. Are you guys excited for the new movie next year? I don't know what they're gonna do. And I also don't know how they're gonna do it because it's slotted to come out like only a couple months after Infinity Wars. So I feel like we're probably gonna get zero information about it until after Infinity Wars is released because it's supposed to follow, or sorry, Avengers 4. I just keep calling it Infinity War. No, Infinity War 2, Avengers 4, um, it's coming out right after that. So we're not gonna get any information until afterwards because since it takes place after Infinity War 4, any trailers or any information about it is just gonna be a spoiler for that movie. So it's gonna be interesting to see what they do and how they handle that. But honestly, I don't even think it needs a trailer. People are gonna see it. <laughs> like. I don't think Marvel movies even need trailers anymore. I try really hard not to watch the trailers, honestly, so that I can be as surprised as possible. Uh, Infinity War definitely surprised the heck out of me, and I'm sure everybody else. So I can't wait to see what they do. Yeah, so we're definitely gonna need a few coats. 
Take your time with your paint job, as always. Don't rush it like I am. But I do a, try to do a lot in an hour, guys. Toby is just too dorky. But Spider-Man is pretty dorky. Yeah, Toby McGuire was pretty dorky. But you gotta give him props because he did start off the franchise and he did, you know, pave the road for the rest of them. Spider-Man 3 was fairly terrible, but we got some really good memes out of it, so you should be uh, thankful, at least for the meme purposes. Look at that, painting forever. Get a nice thick coat of black. I definitely liked, at first I didn't like the homecoming suit design. First I was like, well, that's different. I'm not sure I like that. It's kind of plain actually, like it's pretty simple. But then it grew on me, it definitely grew on me. I always liked Amazing Spider-Man, um, that suit, the best, with like the webbing. The first Spider-Man suit was okay, but I never, never really liked the eyes on the mask. I thought the eyes were too small and didn't know why they were like golden or whatever. But as I've watched the films and seen it in action, I've actually really liked um, the homecoming suit. I also super dig the Iron Spider suit from Avengers. When those like legs popped out, I was so excited. I like squealed in the theater. Like, oh my god! There they are! Arms! So putting our web cartridges to the side. And paint forever! Yeah! Forever painting! I love the subtle design of these web shooters. Um, they kind of have this like spidery leg look to them, you can barely tell. I can only tell because I'm super up close and I'm painting them. But they actually kind of have this cool spidery design that's incredibly subtle on them. Yeah, you can see it in the mold, totally. See you guys? It's really cool. I'm gonna leave the mold right here so that when we zoom back in, y'all can see this cool spidery pattern. Mm -hmm. all in there. So many details. Painting forever. Michael says, why not just spray paint it? Because, Michael, we are in a closed studio and we would all die. Do you want us to die? Is that what you want? You want us to die today? No. But, as I said at the very start of the show, you can do all sorts of techniques for paint. You could spray paint, you could do this, you could rub it in the dirt, I don't care. Whatever works best for you. But yeah, normally I would just spray paint it because it would go faster and it is cleaner, you're right, but I'm not gonna kill all of the crew and myself in this tiny unventilated space. So, note to you cosplayers, be safe when you spray paint. Anything can happen in the Spider-Verse. That's super true. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. So this is the first one I started with. I'm just gonna do a quick second coat. Doesn't have to be as intense as the first because we already covered our bases and this one is just getting rid of all those brush marks. Look at it go. 
So, spider. Much wow. Boom. This one is done. Just need it to dry. Now I'm going to keep going. Second coat on all these guys. I swear to God. I swear to God, somebody is being. What is happening in the studio? You best fucking not. You best not. Not the spray paint. Not the spray paint of death. No. Um. Yeah. Anyways, spray painting in this little area would not be fun. Spray paint safely at home, friends. Safely at home. Use a respirator. And don't spray paint in closed buildings because then it will just smell like spray paint forever. <gasps> Thanks a lot for the death. All right, guys. Packing on the paint. Looking pretty good. You also have to be careful with spray paint because sometimes if it seeps into those little divots and stuff, you'll lose some of the um, detail of the, the print and we don't want to do that at all. Boom. Looking so clean. I don't know what's going on. The studio just got really quiet and I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Wow. <laughs> LOL. Michael says, a woman who isn't afraid to get paint on her hands. You must not watch the show because this is every time. <laughs> if you really want to watch somebody with paint on their hands, Tune in every time, man. It's gnarly. Mm, this is my life. <laughs> All right, I'm going to grab some black paint. Here, because this is gonna finish it off pretty nicely, I think. Even more. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Law says that's not paint, it's a symbiote. Yeah. <laughs> if only. If only I were as cool as Venom. Taking over! Ah. But yeah, speaking of symbiote, nobody answered my questions. How are you feeling about Venom? I want to know. Are, are you as excited as Venom is? Oh my god, the shenanigans are real. You guys, I go on vacation for a couple weeks and come back to this craziness. Back to this madness. What happened when I was gone? We lost Dave. We lost Dave. Oh no. Oh 
Oh, I hear that rattling of a spray can. You get that spray paint out of the studio. You, you get it right out. Oh, forever, forever joking. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> do it. Now it's on the studio wall forever. Look what you've done, Spider-Man. It's just, ew, it's like boogers. It's boogers. All right, friends, this is looking pretty sick. Let's do my last coat on the last piece. It's beautiful. I know you've been watching me do the same thing for a while now. But uh, they're finally painted and I'm thoroughly messy. Well, anyways, look right here. You can see the little spider detail. This is like the body and here are the legs of the spider. So subtle, so cool on this epic mold. Well, we're gonna let these dry and while we're letting these dry, I'm gonna paint the little web guys. Man, it's like, I have this ominous feeling that I'm gonna get squirted in the face with some damn silly string by the time this episode is over. My spidey senses are going crazy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm going to. Uh oh. The paint is stuck. <laughs> oh no, paint. Are you all dried up? Hold on, I have something sharp, you guys. When in doubt, use something sharp. Just kidding, that's probably terrible advice. Don't do that. I'm gonna take some silver rub and buff. Silver rub and buff. Oh no, somebody took my ammunition. Where did my ammunition go? It's gone. Oh no. Silver rub and buffing it up. to God. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> you guys cannot tell. Do nice and silver though. Silver rub and buff forever. You could also use just regular silver paint. You don't have to use rub and buff. But I like it because it is very metallic-y and I have a really hard time opening paint canisters. So this is the best option for me. It's so silvery. Look at how silvery and shiny that is, that little middle bit. I'm leaving the ends white right now because they're gonna be red soon. Red Sin Designs. Messy episode, you guys. You should see Law. I got him good. <laughs> this is not silly string. This is actually web. No, it's on my shooter. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's gonna get messy. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna keep. Oh no, it's on my paintbrush. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a fun, fun way to come back. All right, we're gonna keep keeping on with our web shooters. But they didn't silly string you in Ecuador. They did not. I, there was no silly string in Ecuador. Nothing was ever silly. <laughs> Only serious. Just kidding, it got very silly. It was so fun though. Ecuador was a blast. I saw a lot of spiders in Ecuador. A lot of terrifying spiders that were very large and in charge, but beautiful, but I stayed away. So beautiful. Cool, two silvery little, little buddies. And then I'm gonna take 
a little bit of silver and put it right here on the little shooter part because this is the part of the shooter that is silver. Hopefully my little brush is small enough to get down in there. We'll see, but this part is silver. Whoa! <laughs> What's happening? The studio's falling apart. Venom's being unleashed. It's so nuts in here. Oh my God. I have never felt so scared for my life at the Super News studio. <laughs> I'm gonna grab some silver paint because I cannot get the rubbing buff. Here we go, guys. I told you. I'm... Oh, look at that! I'm gonna. I opened it! <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is amazing! <laughs> this episode is blessed. It truly is. Blessed, blessed be. <laughs> I got the paint open, you guys. Wow. So, anyways, silver. Silver painting forever. What is happening? Mm -mm. Look at me just trying to do my job. I'm not minding anybody's business. I'm minding my own business, you know. A little bit. This is the little place where the um, what do you call it? The web comes out. This is the shootery bit that I am painting right now. Paint it silver. See that? Silver. I'm trying to find the camera. There it is. Oops, silver. All these silver bits. Oh my gosh, so much paint. And so much shenanigans. It's crazy. But yeah, you can always do other types of paints for such a short time that we have here though, I just tend to just do it. Because of the space and the time. I just do it like this. All right, one more little dongle here. I'm gonna paint this silver. Take your time. Definitely do a better job than I am doing. Because rushing a little bit. Go. Bloop, 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 bloop. So beautiful. Much wow. Okay, cool. Silver bits are silver. Now, lastly, we're going to make the red bits red. We have red paint. Right now. And the little ends of the web shooters are red. So we are gonna paint the ends of the web shooters red. There you go. Matching the suit. So pretty, woo. Thanks, Tony Stark. Ooh, Ernesto is basically Tony Stark. Ernesto, you're Tony Stark. Make it all this cool tech. Okay, fine. I guess you could be Batman, but that's a different universe. The better one. Damn, shots fired. 
Oh yeah, movie. Who? No, not in the movies. The movies are butts. Nah, I have faith. They're gonna get better. Oh, I hope Aquaman is good. I hope in the depths of my soul that Aquaman's good. All right, here we go. Painting these bad boys red. Just call me the queen of hearts because I'm painting everything red. Just kidding, that was so dumb, wow. Sorry guys, wow, thanks. Thanks peanut gallery, thank you. I know it was bad, you don't have to rub it in. Oh! <laughs> I quit, I quit now. I give up on life. Goodbye, cruel world. Boop, 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 boop. They're so cute. So if you remember on his suit, Spider-Man actually has these little web shooters all along his belt. So whenever he runs out of web juice, he can just put some more web juice up in there. Yeah. <laughs> cool, these are gonna dry. I'm gonna let them all dry. What? Tony Stark is here. Hi, Tony. I like your Google eyes. They're really cute. You look amazing. <laughs> oh, was that, a, was that a kiss from Tony Stark? Look at me, I'm so lucky. Pepper's gonna be jealous. Wow, I'm delirious, you guys. Definitely picked up something in Ecuador. <laughs> oh. All right, all right. Now we are going to let these little guys dry, let these guys dry, and I'm going to make us some actual webs. Imagine that. Go guys. Let all our fun things dry. And while I get situated here, how about we watch something pretty cool? I hear it's pretty cool. I haven't seen it yet. We're gonna find out together. Oh my gosh. If I close this, I'm never gonna get it open again. <laughs> All right guys, let's watch this thing. Welcome to Just the Facts with J. Jonah Jameson, alerting the fine citizens of New York City to the threats they don't even know about. Namely, that menace, Spider-Man. Our first caller is, what'd you say your name was? Hi, uh, this is Peter P Patterson. Don't you think you're a little hard on Spider-Man? Let me tell you something, Patterson. Spider-Man treats New York City as his own personal playground. Just yesterday, I saw him doing backflips and 360s, disgraceful running and crawling on buildings. In fact, I have it on good authority that he's been doing swan dives off of skyscrapers. It seems the more confident he gets, the more creative he gets. Walk like a normal person. Oh, come on, what's wrong with a little sightseeing? Uh, New York is super diverse and constantly changing. Uh, maybe he's just looking for vantage points to monitor crime? Crime he's causing, you mean? Sources tell me he has backpacks filled with who knows what hidden throughout the city. Unauthorized research stations. Get a permit like the rest of us, loser. Ever since he came onto the scene, prancing around like an 80s action hero, gangs have been setting up shop, using warehouses, construction sites, and rooftops as bases of operation, putting lives at risk. Who does he think he is? Spider cop? I really feel like he's trying to help people. I don't want to hear it. The fine people of New York deserve better. My uncle once said, with great power, there must also come great responsibility. Maybe this is just his way of growing into the hero he wants to be. And from what I've seen, the people seem to be A-OK -okay with that. Agree to disagree, Patterson. Spider-Man only cares about one thing, himself. Jameson out. Welcome back. Wasn't that epic? I'm super excited for that game. I love everything that I've seen so far about it. I've loved the suit design. It's gonna be cool. Well, friends, uh, what are web shooters without some epic web to go with them? Today I'm gonna show you, as well, how to make some cool 
very quick homemade Spider-Man webbing. Uh, while our little shooter guys over here dry. First, we're gonna take some yarn. Look at this fun yarn. I'm gonna find the end. Did it, yeah. And we're gonna take some wax paper, super fun wax paper, and we're gonna do some stuff with it. Yep. Also, you're gonna need some hot glue. And wait for, oop, my hot glue's getting nice and hot. So I'm gonna cut off this like woogly bit. You don't need that. Get out of here. So this is wax paper so that it does not, whatever you're working with does not actually stick. So hot glue doesn't stick to it or whatever materials you're using. So I'm gonna loop three pieces of yarn together and cut them. So we have three pieces of yarn, so it's pretty thick. And you have a little bit of variation. And we're just gonna take some hot glue. Never done this before, hope it works. And maybe if my hot glue would heat up, you're just gonna glob the hot glue up on there. Glob it. And then let it dry a little bit. You probably could even use like the end of a paintbrush and kind of like work it in together. Work your tendrils together like this. Doesn't need to look super clean because this is gross icky webbing. So I'm gonna roll it out. <laughs> Fingers are so gross. So you can use this kind of web stuff for photos, for your costume, for whatever. Just be Spider-Man on the weekends, whatever you want to do. I wouldn't recommend trying to swing from anything from this because it's just hot glue and yarn, so be smart. Be smart, audience. I'm gonna use a bunch of hot glue today. <laughs> yeah. You just want it kinda on there. Uh, if you can prevent the like globs from happening, totally do that and try to make it as like streamlined as possible. Make it look more like it came out of a shooty thing. We're going for more of a comic book feel. In the comic book, it's like, you know, chunky, gross, white webbing. Let's just move it around a little bit. Get rid of your gobs. Ooh, it looks delicious. So you can kind of see the difference between like the yarn and then it kind of stuck together. Definitely be careful hot gluing because with hot glue there's always the risk of getting burnt. So be smart, friends. Be very smart. Don't burn yourselves like I do. Use your brain. I believe in you guys. I believe so hard. There we go. Boop, boop, boop. Oh along. It's kind of tedious, but it's gonna look cool at the end, I promise. I promise. Because you could use this for any spider person that you want. You could probably even do it in different colors, add some glitter. Get creative. Anything can happen in the Spider-Verse. 
I would want like really pretty glittery pink webs. Pew, pew, pew. And you would always know it was me. You just want Jordans? Oh yeah? Oh, Miles. Oh, how did he afford them? Did he steal them? Did his uncle the Prowler steal them? Were they a gift from somebody he rescued? There we go, guys. Ooh, working with hot glue in summer, so fun. The best, can you see, can you tell? It's looking cool. Yeah. Ah, I touched the hot part. <laughs> Damn it. I knew I was gonna do that. Ooh, I pity like a fly if it landed in this. That would suck. Because it's a spider web. Don't land in this one, fly. It is hot. So you're gonna use a lot of hot glue. You also can use like Mod Podge. You can probably use Elmer's glue. Um, I'm using hot glue because I like the shiny, um, like the shininess of it and the texture. So it looks like more like mucusy and gross and like webby. and webby. All things you look for when making spider stuff. I hear that rattle can. I hear it. I swear. Don't do it. <laughs> so ominous. I don't trust the soul in this studio. I don't trust any of you. Yeah, that's right, walk away. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be sneakier than that. Don't you climb up there. <laughs> I know your tricks. <laughs> Gonna need a little bit more because my web is longer than I anticipated. Now I'm like on edge. God. <laughs> I want to see you at all times, Law. Damn it. <laughs> so if you want to get fancy, you could even like twist the ribbon a little bit. Ribbon, this is not ribbon, yarn. You could twist it, get all twisty and grody. Keeping this close. Damn it! <laughs> I think he fled. I think he fled. <laughs> we need a camera on the studio at all times so you can see La. You look beautiful. I like the pink. <laughs> Yeah, guys, if you want to get fancy, you can twist it. Looks pretty cool when it's all twisty, too. Yuck. Icky, yucky. Grody webs. It's taking a lot longer than I anticipated. Uh. Wow, there's so much other webbing around. Geez, how could that have happened? <laughs> spider, spider verse, spidey, spidery things. Cool, so it's basically dried. So you're gonna put some more on all the sides of the yarn that weren't covered, get fancy, do what I said earlier, like twist it up a little bit, make it look a little bit more organic. This is a sticky, icky mess, but you know, spider webs, so I guess I wouldn't expect anything less. Damn, this is gross. 
It is pretty hot in places. So like I said, don't touch it until you know for sure that it's not an inferno anymore. Yay! It's so gross. I have successfully made snot. Huh? This one's amazing, Spider-Man, yeah? Oh no, this is Miles, right? I don't know. Which one is this? Get out of here. There's a spider in the rafters. Take it, twist it up, make it all grody. And we have a disgusting. <laughs> oh no, there's a clinger, there's a dingleberry. <laughs> Get it off. <laughs> Ugh, webbing. Oh, we're gonna use my clean hand. Look at that. Shoot! Go web, go! <laughs> cool, so we have a web now. Um, and I'm going to take it back to our friendly neighborhood web shooters. Hopefully they're not covered in, oh, are they covered in silly string? Yeah, they are. Great, perfect, <laughs> glorious. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm uh, moving right along. <sighs> no. <laughs> uh. Lastly, we're gonna put these guys on there. These little guys, you can use any sort type of glue to do it, but since I have a hot glue gun right here, I'm gonna hot glue these bad boys on, and you wanna make sure it's in like the palm of your hand. God, you can't see anything because this hand is so gross. I'm sorry. I'm gonna use my other hand. Even this one is disgusting. There you go. The little thing, which is why his hand goes like this, to press the little Did I get the camera? <laughs> Sorry, Ralph. <laughs> you like it? All right, and the, oh God, it's just illustrating everywhere. <sighs> this is such a bad and great idea. want to make sure it's even. Wow, I've made a mess. Jeez. Oh no, wrong side. There we go. I've made one heck of a mess of this table. But I had some help. <laughs> Boom. Web shooters. Web. And the last thing we're gonna do is put them together. We'll make a nice little strap. I'm gonna 
glue all the sides but one to the strap. a mess over here but at least we're living we're living it up there we go Let's see this side is now together And then I'll glue it on this side too. Secure everything down. I feel like I'm really Peter Parker making some stuff. Uh, so, God damn it, that's terrifying. <laughs> Someone's watching me. That's terrifying. Gonna cut a little of the excess. And then Ernesto gave me these real cool sticky Velcros. And we're gonna use the sticky Velcro on this side so we have something to uh, open and close it with. Sticky, so Velcro. It is like magic. Look at it being magical. Magical sticky Velcro. Boom! Now it is a fully functioning thing. It's a closed circuit. Sticky Velcro, so sticky. I'm gonna cut some of the excess strapping off because you don't need that. And I'm going to try it on. Hey, <laughs> boo. Oh no, I put it on the dirty hand. No. Hold on. Let's switch it over so you can actually see. Not that this hand is any cleaner. Such dirty hands. What is this, movie mods? <laughs> Boom. Look at that. So cool. So sick. Web shooter. And a web. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Here, here goes nothing. Here we, here, here we go. The noise it makes is so gross. I mean, it's not. Oh. <laughs> yeah, shooting webs every day. Shooting webs every day. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's how you do that. I'm only going to do the one because we're running out of time, thankfully. Um, but follow the steps for this one and you can have yourself a complete set. This epic shooter was made painstakingly and amazingly by Red Sim Designs. You can check him out on Instagram and probably Facebook, Facebook too. Facebook and Instagram, Red Sin Designs. He's tagged in the comments. He'll be tagged in all my Instagram stories throughout the day. This is amazing. I love it. Way cooler than my craptastic web that I made. You guys can do a better one at home, I'm sure. Look at that. Da, 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 da. So spider much. Wow. Love it. <laughs> oh, yeah. And this, uh, the button part of our shooter, this little woogly dongle, is actually just craft foam sprayed in Plasti Dip because Ernesto is a wizard. He's a wizard. Yeah.
I'm running out. Oh, good thing I have another can. Maybe. Dang it. Ah. Okay, wait. I missed. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys have had as much fun on this episode as I have. This is going to stay with me for a while. I'm going to be finding silly string in places I didn't know existed. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. A big thanks to Redstone Designs for this epic, amazing masterpiece. So bomb. I love it. And thank you guys for watching. Let us know in the comments what sort of mods you want to see next. And tune in next time. Thanks, guys. Are you guys still watching? Oh, <laughs> that's that's awkward. <laughs> oh, well, you should probably then tune in each and every day at noon to Super News Live. So that's tomorrow because we're like, we're done here. So you can leave, but come back tomorrow. But like, leave, but come back tomorrow. I'm gonna leave. Who am I kidding? I don't have anywhere to go.